finally we're going to be trying out Man of the Match Schneider. So many of you in the comments saying, where is he? Where is Team of the Season Tory? They are coming. I'm trying to catch up with all the players that I have missed. So, if you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get you coins, check out battleday.com. The link will be in the description and use the code Tony to get 5% off and here we go. Now, basically, Man of the Match Schneider, I have tried his inform, I have tried his second inform, and now his Man of the Match card. All in the same position. So, to begin with, this guy's got a good pace, he isn't that fast, he isn't that slow, but for a center attack in mid, he is just right. Very good dribbler to begin with, which I really, really like about my center attack in midfielders, because that's what you want. Every time you're in a tight position, you want your center attack in mid to get out of that tight position and assist your striker with a nice pass, and this guy's got awesome passing. He's also got very good balance, so even though he is weak, he sometimes can get out of positions where defenders are trying to push him away. Now, he's got 99 free kicks, 99 curve, I think, as well. Um, 99, I think, 99 everything. This guy's got 99 sh shot power as well, and 99 long shots. But when, you look, when you're taking a free kick with him, it shows 99 for the first three fields, and I think 96 for the fourth one. It's, it's incredible. And also, this guy's got amazing finesse shots. You will see one from like the halfway line, but then again, you see that in every fucking review. Five star weak foot as well, which is very, very deadly for a center attack in mid, because then people won't know which way you're going to decide to cut in, or which which foot you're gonna shoot with, so they don't know which way you're gonna go, which makes it, it just makes them, it makes the center attacking midfielder more dangerous to be in that position or even on the ball. He's a decent finisher in the penalty area and don't have much problems finishing with him. Now, with the second inform, I had a bit of disadvantage for him, not too much. He is weak. So, is there any improvement of how strong the Man of the Match card is? No, he feels as weak as the second inform. So, if you think that the Man of the Match card seems stronger, I don't think so. Three star skills, and the other one has three star skills, so basically the same disadvantages. Does he feel with the benefits any different to the second inform, uh, Schneider? No, he doesn't. He, he seems exactly the same. So the only reason you would actually get this one is just because he looks bell, you know, orange in your team. That is the only reason you will get the man of the match, Schneider. And I think he is rarer than the second inform, of course, because he was only out for one day. Now that's all there is to it for this player review, guys. Make sure Sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and if you found it helpful but other than that i would definitely recommend just settle for the second inform because he feels exactly the same as the man of the match card so let me know in the comment section below who you would like me to review next probably team season tory because everyone keeps saying they want to see him and also it's quite a bummer that ea delayed the world cup mode i was really looking forward to it today i wanted to make the best european team from all the packs i am going to open or even the best italian team with the official kits and so on and so forth but they delay it and i really hope that it comes out before the world cup begins so hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on the delay on the world cup mode and i hope you guys have a very nice day